and a little Kenyan village that was thrust into the limelight when Obama became U.S. president has received a facelift of a lifetime. Indeed, Kogelo clings to every hope that Obama will visit, despite what was said yesterday, and visit his father's home, and this, that despite that official confirmation to the contrary. Residents of Barack Obama's ancestral village had hoped the U.S. president would pass by them during his first visit to Kenya since he took office. But although he won't be able to make it this time, the villagers of Kogelo still view the Obama family with a sense of pride. Those in Obama's ancestral village of Kigelo thank the U.S. president for recent changes, changes largely paid for by outside donors and the Kenyan government. National grid electricity reached Kigelo for the first time hours after Obama won election in 2008. A paved road and piped water followed soon after. When he has beca become the president, huh? uh, that's when we got the tarmac road, good water for drinking, this school got uh, an ECD classroom, two classrooms, an office, and a store. Obama is a source of pride and profit for many. But for the Kenyan Obamas, he is a family member first. I'll greet him, and he'll greet me in the language he knows. He'll ask me, how are you, Granny? And I'll tell him, I'm fine. Mm. In the family compound in Kogelo sit the newly refurbished graves of Sarah's husband and son, Barack Hussein Obama Sr. Though Obama has confirmed he won't be visiting the village during his trip to Kenya, those in Kogelo hope he will continue to inspire them. What he has you know, proved to many Kenyans that despite your humble backgrounds, you can rise from you know, your humble backgrounds to become one of the most powerful people in the world. In the lead up to the US president's visit, both Americans and Kenyans are united in this fascination at Obama's paternal heritage, reaching from a tiny African village to the White House in one single generation.